Hello everyone, welcome to a different video this evening. This is me, Chelsea Staffed, after a long break due to personal reasons and being ill, I picked up a virus. It was horrific. And I'm back. I just wanted to do a quick video today. Well, I say quick, but it's different. It's one of these different videos that I'm going to do rather than the five minute news. It's part of the extended series. And if you like this, then smash the hell out the like button for me. We're going to be looking for more than 200 likes if we can. Try and beat my record. Um, and I'm just going to discuss the non-event of the transfer window so far for Chelsea fans. So, if this is something you're going to be interested in, stay tuned, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Let's get cracking. So here we are on the evening of the 28th of January and the transfer window closes in a couple of days. And so far, Chelsea have, have actually done nothing official. No official confirmed business. Um, and how do you feel about that? Do you feel as though we have to sign somebody in January? Is it something that must be done and would hamper our, our chances of a top four? Bearing in mind, everybody else chasing us is on a dodgy run, apart from Wolves. Other sides are stumbling. Other sides are faltering. We've still got a five-point gap to fifth position, despite the amount of points that we've lost. Do we honestly think that we need to sign somebody? Do we need to sign a striker? Now, I wrote an article the other day, and I'll link to it and I'm in the description, and I'll show this. You'll see it above me on my right-hand side here. What you'll see is I wrote an article saying that I believe that if we did bring people in, then the striker is not the problem. The problem that Chelsea have got, in my view, is not the striker. It's the way that we play building up to the striker. For example, over recent weeks, we've seen players coming into the team that have maybe been benched for the, the, the game before, or they're sort of in and out, and they're looking to impress. And by doing so, they, they think they've got score goals to stay in the team. So they become greedy. So players become very greedy in and around the box. So when there's a pass on, they're taking a shot on. Just... People are being greedy. They're not lifting their head up and they're not looking to play somebody in who's in a better position in the box for me. And I think that's our problem. Um, also, think of the situation when it comes to the final third. Somebody, when we do play that pass, we're not looking to play the right ball. So again, we're not lifting our head up. We're playing a ball too late. We're holding on to the ball. We're playing the wrong pass. And that's what's killing us. And that's what's killed us in numerous games and numerous times this season and everyone can see it and that's what Frank Lampard's frustrated about now listen at the end of the day if we don't sign anybody in the striker position is it a big deal bearing in mind that Tammy's got that position nailed down so think about it think about the strikers we're being, we're being linked with Jovic there's no interest in that in relation to the, the guy at Real Madrid Real Madrid want to keep him Cavani, he doesn't want to come to Chelsea, he wants to go to Atletico Madrid. All these players that are being linked with us, but are they going to be willing to come to Chelsea and play second fiddle to Tammy Abraham? I don't think they are. Not only that, but think. Every other club knows Chelsea are on a transfer ban. They know that Chelsea have got buckets of money to spend, sitting there waiting to spend it. So when it gets to January anyway, forget the transfer ban, forget the money involved when it gets to january anyway players valuations are just hyped up and ramped up anyway because play clubs don't want to lose their players in january because they've got little time to replace them so they ask for stupid money so if you then take the fact that chelsea's got loads of money because of the transfer ban we're probably being quoted ridiculous sums of money for people wilfred zaha 80 million for example absolutely ridiculous Adama Traore at Wolves is now being linked for 70 million absolutely ridiculous this is what I'm saying about the situation with prices being hyped up and being ramped up it's ridiculous Chelsea have got Tammy Abraham and Michy Batshuayi will Olivier Giroud go or will he stay at Chelsea for the remainder of the season and go in the summer for free is Batshuayi and, and Tammy Abraham enough? Bearing in mind the fact that Batshuayi is hardly featured, only as a substitute because Tammy's the number one. 
Yes, you take a risk if you don't sign anybody. If Abraham gets injured, it's a gamble. You only left them with Batshuayi and possibly Giroud. Is it a major catastrophe if Chelsea do not sign a striker this month? I don't think it is. What I do think we need, we need another option wide. We need a winger. That's what we need. And we've been being linked with Hakem Zayek, the, the guy from Ajax, in the summer. Because once again, look at the situation that we've got. We've already got four players here. Pedro was useless the other day when he came on against Hull. Let's be honest. I love the bloke for what he's done for us and, and the contributions he's made. But against Hull, he was absolute pony for a period of time. Absolute useless. And he's, not, he's no longer up to it. So you've got Pedro and you've got Willian. Willian is having a good season. He still offers us plenty. And you've got Callum hudson odoi who's beginning to do stuff now after a bit of a slow burner. But then he's got a couple of goals. He's performed well. And hopefully he'll kick on the end of the season. Then to return from injury, Christian Pulisic is back. So you've only got two positions you're looking at. So even if you don't even consider Pedro, you've got Willian, Pulisic, hudson odoi for two positions. You've got cover. Central midfield, we've got cover. Every position we've got cover, and we're fourth in the Premier League with the current squad. And the players will know their failings. They'll know the mistakes they've made. They'll know the games we've not killed off and where we've conceded goals. And it's something they can continue to work on. What if this side clicks and we get tighter? We don't concede the goals we've been conceding and we start putting goals away like we did earlier in the season when, when we went on our eight-game winning streak or eight-game unbeaten run. What happens then? This team and this squad is capable for me to kick on, to take stock of where we got to. We've battled hard and we got to it. Yes, we've been lucky with other sides being awful, that we're still five points clear in fourth position. But I think we can really kick on. We've got so much room to grow with the players that we currently have. Is there anybody, realistically, available at a, a decent and sensible price tag that we can sign this month to bring into the squad that's not going to you know, mess up the apple cart, not going to put a spanner in the works, not going to make people, you know, I don't know, just, just make things uncomfortable within the squad. It's going to settle in nice and easy and bed in and look like they've been there for a season or two years. I think it's, we're going to struggle to do that. I know a lot of Chelsea fans are frustrated because we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Nothing's happened. I get that. But let's be realistic. Do we actually need anybody? Based on our current squad and the fact that we know if they get it together, we can really kick on here. Yes, they might continue the same way. Yes, they might concede goals again and let victories go and throw away points and so be it. But at the end of the beginning of the season... We would have taken top six as a brilliant season with the transition, with losing Eden Hazard, with the young players coming in, with a new young management team in charge. We would have taken top six. We would have bit your hand off for top six. But we're above that. And we just need to take stock of things. And I just think that in the next few days, if something happens, fair play. If it doesn't, I don't think it's a big catastrophe. And I can see all these Chelsea fans going mental on social media and, and complaining and moaning like Mary Hell and Chelsea's failing and all this sort of stuff. Let's just wind our necks back in a little bit. Let's take stock of the situation. And I just think we just need to be a bit more realistic. Let's look at the market. Let's look at the inflated prices. Then add Chelsea's money on top of that. And think realistically, is there anybody that can come in and make a huge difference that is available that can make a big difference to this squad currently? I don't think there is, but if there is someone we can prize away from someone like a, a Chilwell maybe, or somebody like a Cavani, who will give us that class up front when we need it, then great. If not, I don't think it's the end of the world. That's what I think anyway. That's just my little humble opinion today. So if you agree with me, if you don't, post your comments below but do me a favor if you like this video smash the hell out the like button i'm looking for 200 300 400 likes if i can i really appreciate that and then if you haven't done it already subscribe to my channel there will be much more videos coming out like this 
because I think we just need to do videos like this a, a lot more rather than the five minute news. Apologies, this is out of the normal time frames. I normally do midday, but this is going out this evening because it's important that we do. And then, yeah, so subscribe to the channel, smash the hell out of the like button, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Is it really a big deal if we don't sign anyone? That's the question. Post your comments below. I love to read everything that I can, as many as I can. See you all on Friday. My next video is this Friday. I'm going to try and do three of these longer videos per week, if not much more. But basis will be three videos a week minimum. See you then. Thanks for watching.